Greetings folks, this is Victor Haskins. Welcome to a new series that I'm doing specifically focused on understanding the language of music. And this is important whether you're playing strictly written music or improvised music, whatever it is you're doing, it's important that you understand the implication of the melodies that you are either being asked to play or that you're choosing to play. Understanding what is going on is so important to being truly creative and having control and agency in being an effective musician. So I want to start in a very basic place where anyone can kind of jump in, whether you're just getting started with playing your instrument or whether you've been playing for a while, but I really want to start somewhere that we can all kind of rally together and then move forward uh, in little bite-sized manageable chunks. Okay, so in this video, I just want to introduce the idea of the concert B-flat major scale, or for trumpet players, since I'll be playing the cornet in this video, um, the C major scale for us. Okay, so I'm always going to speak in concert pitch. It's important that we all know how to convert from concert pitch to whatever our pitch is for our instrument. Um, the exercise that I'm going to introduce in this video, you'll be able to find a sheet music version, a written out version. Uh, if you look in the description box below this video, uh, and that's if you're not if you're not watching on YouTube, go to YouTube and you'll see on the description box below it um, is a link to the educational resources to, uh, page on my website, and you'll be able to download a zip file which has all these different uh, transpositions, common instrument transpositions for this scale. If you need to see it in a written format, so I just want to introduce the scale and uh, show the fingerings for trumpet players. And uh, in the next video, we're gonna dive a little deeper into the scale. So I'm gonna play this C major scale, the concert B flat major scale, ascending, then I'm gonna play it descending, and then I'm gonna play it ascending and descending. Okay, here we go. So our first note, C, is open as far as fingering. Then we have one and three for D with our slide. Make sure you kick that slide out so that uh, it's in tune. 1 and 2 for E, 1 for F, open for G, 1 and 2 for A, 2 for B, and open for C. Okay, so here we go. Ascending, descending, then ascending and descending. Okay, so there's your C major scale or your concert B flat major scale for everyone else. How I suggest you go about working on this is to first, because if you're watching this on YouTube, you have this option to go in the lower right hand corner of the video and you see a little gear. Uh, this might change in the future in years, but for right now, um, there's a little gear and you can click on it. You can change the video speed. Okay, you can change the video speed to 0.75 or 0.5 and that will slow it down. So you can sing along to it. So sing along to what I just played. Make sure you get the intervals. You're really imagining the distance between the notes accurately. And then, if you're a brass player, take your mouthpiece and do the same thing. Buzz along with what I just played. And then, take your horn. And uh, once you know what the fingerings are, you've got those uh, memorized. Because uh, you do want them memorized. You don't want to be reading this. You do not want to be reading scale exercises. Okay, you read it initially, maybe, uh, if you're a reader, but you need to get, activate your ear. And if you're reading, you're using mental energy, using your eyes. So I suggest as soon as possible, get away from reading it. Maybe know what it looks like. Okay, so I would suggest you still download the, the thing off my website, uh, which is free, by the way, and know what it looks like to see it written. But don't practice it by reading it, okay? Well, as soon as you can, memorize the fingerings and know what the sound is like so that way you can practice it away from any sheet music. I'm always discouraging using sheet music because if you're looking at something, you're using mental energy that could be used to uh, power your imagination and your mind-body um, instrument connection. We want to enforce that as much as possible, okay? So practice that. Use a metronome in... Uh, in the way that I've prescribed in previous episodes of educational content where you take it very slowly and you work it up and once again you want to make this like second nature you want to make it so it's like 
you know your name or you know your address or where you live or your phone number. It's second nature because you've got it memorized uh, or you should have it memorized at least. So um, do that and uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you know when there's new materials coming out. Uh, also guys, uh, subscribe to my email list on my website. I'm going to start putting out some special exclusive offers and, uh, and things and materials and performances for people on the email list. Um, so do that. And all the links to all that, of course, is uh, down in the description box below. So I hope this is helpful, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we will dive a little bit deeper into um, the C major tonality and the scale and how we can use this a little bit more deeply. All right, thank you.